everyone. Um, today I'm going to take you through some of the basic functions of eScriptorium, show you how to log in, uh, create a document, upload images, and do your initial um, transcription correction work. So we're going to start out with login. Um, you'll notice that I'm in incognito mode. This is because for some reason, on my machine at least, with my browser, um, it won't work on regular mode. Uh, notice also that I am in Firefox. So we found that Firefox and uh, I believe Chrome as well work pretty well for eScriptorium. Um, Firefox seems to be the best, uh, but you might want to experiment with that. So we're going to begin with login. Um, so you put in the username and the password that you uh, that you were assigned or that you generated. Uh, we're going to log in. All right, so I'm going to create a new document. So we'll hit create. We'll just call this Epfulani. All right, so you put in a title. Um, you're going to enter your main script, which I guess will be Arabic. Uh, and then you're going to make sure that you switch from left to right to right to left. So that, of course, is crucial uh, for Arabic script. And then hit create. And we're not going to worry about these other things right now. All right, so now we're going to go to images. So there are two ways that you can upload images into eScriptorium. Um, first of all, I will show you how to upload individual images. So we click here, uh, and then we go to, uh, we're going to select a JPEG right here. Uh, upload down here. So it's quite fast. The other thing that you can do is import entire PDFs. Um, so if you're uh, dealing with a, a lot of pages uh, with an entire text, this will obviously be the fastest way to do it. So you don't have to select each one and wait on them or uh, reduce them from a, a PDF. So we'll go here to import. We'll click on images PDF. And we're going to browse here and then start importing. Um, and so this will extract all of the images from the PDF and uh, upload them down here. Uh, and it's, it's a fairly rapid process. All right. So once we have our images, um, we're then going to select one and run processes on. Uh, first, we will binarize. Um, we're not going to. We're just going to use the defaults. All right, so the binarization is done. Uh, now we're going to run segmentation. Um, we'll just use the default model here as well. Seems to work pretty well. Right, so while a process is running, you'll see this yellow bar. Uh, if you need to cancel a process, if say you've run segmentation twice accidentally, um, you can click here and that will turn it off. So we're going to wait on our segmentation. Hopefully uh, your processes won't take too long, although honestly it, it, it's a bit of a mystery uh, as to how long things will take. So our segmentation is still going. So when I, I did this earlier, uh, I made a, a, a previous video, which for some reason the sound was all screwed up. Uh, the process was running very fast. Um, of course, almost instant instantaneous, and then now it's taking a little bit it's precious time. So why don't we navigate, uh, let's see, back to description and then come back to images and see if that helps. No. Uh, if you're running a process, you don't have to leave this page open. So you can do other work on eScriptorium. Um, you can put this in the background, uh, and the, the um, process will continue running. So maybe while our segmentation is running, we can look at uh, document that I already prepared. So we'll go down go down here. All right, so here we have um, oops. So what I'm going to do is start there and show you uh, the different layout panes here. So when you first navigate to edit, uh, nothing will appear down here. So you have different options for what you can view. So if you click this icon, it will show you the original page, so the original scanned page. This icon will show you your segmentation. So once the segmentation process is done, this is what you're going to see. Um, now we'll be talking uh, in future lessons about uh, different edits that you can make to the segmentation and to the polygonal masking. So when you click here, you can see the masking around uh, the words. Um, but for our purposes right now, uh, you don't need to worry about those things too much. The main thing you want to be concerned with is just that all of the words here are covered with a baseline. Um, and as we can see from this, from the initial seg segmentation, everything is. All right, so this shows you the segmentation, which uh, you can go in and, and you can correct if you need to. Uh, if we click this icon, transcription, uh, it will show you the transcription. Now, 
there is a transcription here, but it's not showing up. Um, so let me show you why. Uh, and you may find this the first time that you run uh, initial OCR. Now, if you look up here at this bar, you'll see that it says manual. Um, so this is if you wanted to enter transcription yourself without using the initial OCR, but of course we don't. So we're going to click on it. We're going to see that there is another option. Um, so this is the model that we ran, which I'll hopefully be able to show you in momentarily. Um, so this will now show you the uh, initial OCR uh, that you can then correct. So once this is visible, you can then begin correcting your lines. So you'll click on one line here. Um, this will show you uh, the original printed text here, and then of course the transcription here. Um, you can go through, make your corrections. Uh, after you've made your corrections, hit enter or return, and this will take you to the next line. Uh, and as you hit enter and return, uh, the work that you've done will be automatically saved. Um, you can also, uh, once you've made edits, you can see and review what you've done. So you can see the initial OCR and then compare it to, to edits that have been made. Um, just make sure that you hit enter or return to save your work. Once you're done with a line, oh good, our segmentation is done now, then you can move uh, from one page to another. So we'll talk more about some of the, the issues that you might face in making corrections uh, on Thursday. But this is the this is the the primary process, and it's it's very intuitive and straightforward, and it's one of the best features I think of this this program. All right, so let's go back to our our document. It says that our segmentation has completed, so we can see down here the the, the green lines tell the, tell us that the segmentation is done. So we're going to have an initial look here to make sure that everything looks good. And, so we already we see there's a little bit of an error here. Um, we're going to delete this line and pull this one out. There we go. All right, so now let's go back to images. It's already selected, so we can hit transcribe. We're going to upload a model, so browse. Let's find the model that we already have, and we'll circulate these uh, to you. So I'm going to select this one, hit open and then transcribe. Now the transcription might take a little bit longer. Or it will take longer than the binarization and segmentation. Uh, ideally, it, it, it won't take more than a few minutes, but you never know, depending on how many people are, are using Scriptorium at, at a given moment. So we see that the yellow bar is here. All right, and it's completed, so we can go in. Now remember, we want to make sure that we have the right panes open. So we're going to do our segmentation and our transcription. And then we want to make sure that we've selected uh, our model to be visible. All right, so now it is, and you can begin making your corrections. All right, so those are sort of the, the basic functionalities of eScriptorium. Uh, they should, should be enough to get you started uh, in uploading text and in making your uh, initial corrections. Um, as you experiment, you know, check and see if, if you have any, any questions or problems, and you can raise them on Thursday, and we can hopefully solve them. All right, good luck, everyone.